Welcome to the 25th anniversary of the Taste of the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. Let's eat. So they have actually left some topiaries up from the Flower and Garden Festival into Food and Wine Festival, and here's one of them. It is by the entrance of Mouse Gear, the new temporary Mouse Gear. And it's Bambi Thumper. And I forget this guy's name, but look how cute. All right, so here in Mouse Gear, they actually have some food and wine stuff. They have food and wine, salt and pepper shakers. They just have one, so I'm assuming you would just decide on which one you wanted. It's a pass holder exclusive. This is a pass holder water bottle. It's got Remy and uh, some of those insulated water bottles. How cool. I love that. And of course, we've got, how much is this? $50. Food and Wine Festival, and it says pass holder down the sleeve. And then on this sleeve, it's got some logos. Yeah. It's a hooded. Uh, it's, hooded. it's really thin. And I love that burgundy color. And a few cups over here. They got Remy. And of course, my guy Figment, the pass holder food and wine festival 2020 and then we've got mini down here so I guess you can make this a set mini as a chef and then of course we have Mickey classic food and wine festival 2020 pass holder and yeah you can make it into a set of four this is like an olive theme this year I love to cook a pun you can uh, it's like a serving dish you've got the I love to cook. Pass holder shirt. You have a reusable tray. You can put your wine glass in here, your cup, and your food. Here's a huge magnet. And then of course, they gotta grab this. And we've got Minnie's Queen of Cuisine line. She's got an apron, a water bottle, oven mitts, and a tea towel. You got another magnet. You have this cute bowl. And it has, I'm not gonna pick it up all the way. It's, every, it's an elevated bowl. It has a world showcase all around it. And mini as a chef. And then, this is a limited release pin set, so I'm gonna grab those. You guys know. Got these cute coasters. Figment and Remy. Mickey and Minnie. Got your classic Turvis here. Food and Wine Festival 2020. A big chef hat with a bow on the back. And then this almost looks like a chef hat as a mug. Real cute. Spatula set. And here's more of those water bottles. And then we have this mad sparkly <laughs> mini chef hat keychain. And on the back, 25 years of Food and Wine Festival. The temporary mouse gear, other than the um, merch that I showed you, you can also pick up Remy's Hide and Squeak, which is a fun scavenger hunt. It's $8, and when you complete it, um, you put these stickers on um, the inside of a map of World Showcase and help Remy build Ratatouille, of course. And you get a little prize, which is a water bottle or a plastic cup with Mickey or Minnie or Figment or um, Remy on it and they're so cute and it's eight bucks it's fun for the kids fun for the family and uh, it's also just something different to do here at the festival so I'm just gonna not spoil anything for you but I'll show you where one is and I'll pick for the fun one have to get the obligatory photo look at that so here's an example of what you would find in the Remy's uh, hide and squeak there's Remy with some garlic and he is in the Mexico pavilion, so you would put it on the Mexico spot. Right, so first up is my favorite booth of all time at the Food and Wine Festival, and at most festivals, it is the Mexico booth. And we have a ribeye taco, which looks delicious, pretty simple. It's on a corn tortilla. It's got some fresh onions and um, obviously ribeye steak. And then my all-time favorite food and wine, um, or if any festival, 
uh, food. It is the pork tostada from the Mexico Pavilion. And I'm gonna save this for last because it's my favorite. So we're gonna put, they give you a little lime. We're gonna put a little lime on our taco there. We put a lot of cilantro on there. So let's dig in. Corn tortilla, really nice, really thin. The, um, the ribeye itself is cooked really well and the onion adds a lot. Cilantro is great, really fresh, really light, and it's a really tiny taco. Um, it's like a street taco, so you can definitely um, have this as a snack, of course, which is what the Food and Wine Festival is all about, so cheers. All right, y'all, this is the love of my life. So I'm gonna take a little bit of these microgreens off because I think that it doesn't need it. There's salsa verde on there, and it's really fresh, really, um, just like a, there's a great salsa verde, and I don't wanna hide it. And also, really messy. That's better, okay. It's got pulled pork, it's got refried black beans, and it's just, oh, so good. I can't, I, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> The black beans have a little bit of heat to them, not a ton, but it's like the perfect amount of heat. It's so creamy, the black beans. The pork is cooked perfectly, perfectly seasoned and marinated. The fresh red onions add a crunch and also like a little bit of the onion flavor, but the salsa verde um, is delicious. So fresh, so, oh, so good. You guys. I can't express to you how creamy these free fried beans are. I could eat a hundred of these. <laughs> no joke, it's my favorite festival food. It's simple, but so complex in the flavor. So good. Also, if you want to sit down, they do have the normal festival booths, which are the bar height, and if you wanted to, they have picnic tables more situated around the pavilion, and that's what we're doing, and we're sitting in the shade, and it's really nice. And next up is Canada, and we have, of course, the beautiful beef filet with a um, mushroom and a sauce. It is absolutely delicious. And then we have the infamous cheddar cheese soup. Look at that. And of course, it comes with a pretzel roll. How cute. I'm gonna pick this up and eat it because I'm a lady. Mm. Normally, this is cooked well done because they're just doing them constantly, but this is actually probably, I would say, medium well. It's delicious, super tender, and of course, that truffle butter sauce is delicious. The only way to eat the cheddar cheese soup is to take your pretzel roll and you dip it in the soup and you use your pretzel roll as your spoon. Very hoppy. It's a beer cheese soup. Bacon's nice and salty and savory. Creamy. Pretzel bread, delicious. And, uh, Canada is one of the best of the best of the festival. I could bathe in this soup. So this is the only soup I will eat on a hot day. It's worth every freaking second. So we stuff in the world show place. There are four booths in here: the mac and cheese booth, the apple seed orchard booth, the desserts and champagne booth, and the festival favorites. And it is nice and air conditioned in here. They have a lot of tables, a lot of seating. There's tables over there um, in the far corner when you walk in that have like they're just normal tables with chairs. They have the bar type tables, and it's just a lot of spread out space. And it's nice and air conditioned for you to enjoy your meal. So first up, 
from the mac and cheese booth, we have the gourmet mac and cheese from um, Borson, sponsored by Borson. So you got a good chunk of Borson cheese right here, some breadcrumbs and uh, some noodles. So let's dig in. And traditionally, Borson cheese is garlic and herb. So I'm sure it has a lot of different flavors. Also, we're using cavatappi noodles. You can't tell. They're using cavatappi noodles. Look at that. So. Mmm. So, if you guys go back, I'll link this in right up here. But the um, fried Borson cheese that I did, it's the same type of cheese, the garlic and herb, the original Borson. And they have <clears throat> incorporated this into the macaroni and cheese with the breadcrumbs. So it's super, super savory, not salty. And the breadcrumbs give it a nice crunch. The noodles are cooked really perfectly. It's nice, nice, nice and creamy. <clears throat> There's a breadcrumb in my throat. Okay, so the other booth that we tackled in here was the dessert and champagne booth. And that is where the famous cake pops are. Now, these are melting really fast. They're nitro cake pops. This is their traditional one. I'm gonna take a quick bite because it's just chocolate cake dipped in chocolate and then they dip it in the nitro to make it kind of like a frozen popsicle, so. And they have live music. It's so, it's so nice in here. This is delicious. Come on really rich. The chocolate's really nice. It's creamy. It's moist. It's so nice. That's what we have is the Twix. And it's a little drippy, so I'm just gonna hold it like this. It's just the same way as the, the original, but they just put Twix on top. And I love Twix. It's one of my favorite candy bars. So. Hmm. It's not bad, but it's good, but it's not what I was expecting. I can't really taste the Twix. It's not crunchy. It's missing the wafer, I think. It's just like the caramel and the chocolate, but it's still really good but I just take, taste the cake. And finally, we have the M&M. It's again, chocolate cake dipped in the nitro. And then they have the M&Ms on top, just crushed M&Ms. So. It tastes like chocolate cake with M&Ms. <laughs> I have chocolate all over my mouth. These aren't napkins, but I used it as one because I'm innovative. I think they're like four bucks a piece for each cake pop, so that's $12. Definitely shareable. And um, definitely like a nice, it's super rich, the cake. And the chocolate on top is really rich, but absolutely delicious. Um, not what I was expecting because people were hyping it up so much. I think they're good but they're not like <laughs> um but the, i think the macaroni and cheese is the real winner here it was delicious um i want another one but we have more to eat around the world so i'm not gonna get another one i wish i was here another day to get another one because i could eat that all day and me is another one that they left up for the food and wine that was a new uh, topiary actually at the flower and garden festival they left him up i'm assuming because he has a ride opening and he's famous he's on a big wheel of cheese Look at that. Okay, next stop was Brazil. And, of course, we had to stop and get the delicious Brazilian cheese bread. I would pronounce it in Portuguese, but I don't know Portuguese. So, it's really hot. And it... Oh. I don't think it's done. It was nice. Um, I guess we're gonna move on and not eat the rest of this because it's not done. The edge that I had was fine. Nice and crispy, nice and cheesy. 
but is it just cheese? I thought it was fluffy bread. In the past, it has not looked like that. I don't know. I don't know. But the flavor was good, and it's really hot. But <clears throat> don't know if it's dough or I cheese. Think it's cheese. Well, then it's really cheesy. <laughs> but it's really good. Crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, and obviously super cheesy because I thought it was dough. And, uh, I think it's cheese. Okay, it's cheese. And uh, we're gonna move on. We're trying to hit everything. So probably next up is Morocco. Maybe some baklava, maybe not. We'll see. So during the Food Wine Festival, the janitors tend to turn to the jam and chef, and instead of playing on uh, janitorial items, they play on pots and pans, and they have little ovens as their stage. And they are fantastic protagonists, so definitely come check them out when you're here. So another um, thing that they have at the America Pavilion um, Amphitheater is Mariachi Cobre, and they have different types uh, different times during the day to watch them perform and if you have the chance to watch them mariachi perform do it They are so entertaining so talented and uh, Worth the time to go and do while stationary clean your hands often and thoroughly Cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing and maintain physical distancing. Thank you So our next stop is Italy and It's not very fancy. They have something called the La Classica and it is um, a lot of cheeses in a tortellini. It's got crumbled bacon on it, but it has, it's in a vodka sauce and looks delicious. I mean, look at that. She just piled the bacon on top. So, let's dig in. Look at that, a beautiful tortellini. That is nothing special. <laughs> Skip Italy altogether. Wasted time and money. That I, I can make this better at home. The bacon's nice. It's not creamy enough tortellini. <clears throat> it's missing like a good creamy center. I think the cheese is overdone. The vodka sauce is whatever. I need more pepper. What do you think? It's fine. It tastes almost like, um, like butternut. <clears throat> like a butternut squash sauce? Oh. Yeah, it doesn't taste very vodka sauce y. Like, it's not creamy like a vodka sauce. It's more thick like a butternut squash sauce. But, um, it was, I think it was $8. Yeah, eight fifty for that. Well, and for not worth it. The birds are getting very bold here. They haven't seen people in six months, and they're like, hey, I need your food now, thank you. But we're gonna move on. Germany is next, which we know is a solid winner every year. So good, so, 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 so good. So we're gonna snag that. And maybe be done. We're running out of time, so we're trying to hurry. At last year's Food and Wine Festival at Italy Booth, they had a tortellini carbonara, and it was so good. And I thought they would have that this year, but they turned it into the La Classica which I think they've had previously in the past couple years, but they last year they switched it up. They need to switch it back because that carbonara was so good and this La Classica was not. So I'm gonna redeem myself with Germany. So if you're here in Epcot during a festival, take notice because the townspeople are also celebrating the food and wine festival. They have all of the, uh, the flags and everything out. They're also celebrating with us. So our final stop today, is in the Germany pavilion. And always a winner, we've got Schnickennudeln. <laughs> I don't know how to say this word, but it is basically baked macaroni and cheese uh, casserole. It's got onions, it's got a little bit of ham, and uh, it's just cheesy, de noodly deliciousness, and it's baked. And uh, look at that, so cheesy. And then we have the apple strudel. It comes with a vanilla sauce. I'm not gonna tip this because it will fall out. But look at the, how beautiful that apple is. Oh my goodness, look at that. So, as always, we're gonna dig in to the noodles first. Hot.
talking about we're hot. I ain't blow on it. But if you don't like onions, don't get that. Um, it's not oniony flavor. It's just you can like feel the onions in your mouth. It's really creamy, salty, cheesy. Um, it's very like it's, it's just a casserole. It's baked casserole, and um, it's German macaroni and cheese. It's, it's just a fan favorite. It's been around for literally decades at the festival. It's so good. So the Germany pilling. It's also only four twenty five. Definitely a steal. Um, compared to what we just ate at Italy for eight bucks. That's crazy. Then we're gonna dig into our apple strudel. It looks delicious. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely delicious. That cr vanilla cream sauce that they put on the side complements the cinnamon of the apples so well. The apples aren't overly cooked. They're not like super stewed. They're probably just steamed for a couple, uh, maybe a mi for a few minutes. There's also some grapes in here. I can see one right here. I'm sure they use it for flavoring. So it's just, oh, it's a raisin. Grapes are raisins. No. And when you cook them, they turn into, <laughs> into raisins. But the apples are Still a little bit crunchy. The crust is flaky, but still really light and nice. I love the strudel here. We get it every year. It's so good. And that's a great way to end the Food and Wine Festival. All right, guys, that wraps it up for us here at the Thank Food and Wine Festival. Thank you for visiting us today. Just a few <laughs> reminders. Face coverings must fully cover your nose and mouth and be worn at all times except when actively eating or drinking while stationary. Clean your hands often and thoroughly. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing and maintain physical distancing. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, that announcement they have all the time over the um, intercom, maybe about every 25 minutes, every 30 minutes. And it uh, just reminds people to be smart and be safe. Here at Epcot and around property, they have it at all the parks happening, but I thought I would end this video with the prettiest girl in school behind me. And that wraps it up for us here at the Food and Wine Festival 2020. We ate as much as possible in a day that we could and we are stuffed. Oh man, it was delicious. Now, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and make sure to turn on that bell notification so you get notified every single time I post a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And until next time, be a beautiful human. Bye. Want to subscribe? Click or tap right here. Want more from this adventure? Click or tap right here. Want more from Epcot? Click or tap right here.